Hey guys, Don Rice here, and this is the Zeroli Corsair fuselage. It's upside down. I am working on uh, the cockpit, and one of the things I need to do is I need to make cockpit sides. And so what I want to do is make some blanks out of uh, balsa wood and um, fiberglass, and I want them to be curved with the fuselage and so I have um, put some you know basically packing tape onto the fuselage here and I'm gonna lay up uh, a layer of three ounce cloth and um, actually I might use 1.4 whatever I'm gonna put down a layer of cloth and then a layer of 16th inch balsa and then uh, that way the balsa and they'll cure with the curvature of the fuselage and I'll be able to use that on the interior. Uh, I'll be able to detail it out and it'll look like the inside of a fuselage. So back in a minute. Okay, so I won't bore you with the whole process, but <clears throat> essentially I laid down this right here is peel ply. That's actually just lying against the, the packing tape we looked at. Uh, and so that's really up against the fuselage. This is uh, some three ounce cloth uh, laid down and wetted out. And then and this, uh, this is, so this is the balsa. And <clears throat> so the intention is this is going to, this will perfectly be shaped like the fuselage and um, <clears throat> tomorrow sometime when I rip off the the peel ply this will all come off hopefully without incident and then the peel ply comes off and then I can glue pieces directly to um, that glassed interior side so the glass adds a little bit of uh, strength to the balsa um, but overall this this assembly will be extremely light and um, and by, by doing this, the glass and the balsa together will take the shape of the fuselage um, and I'll be able to glue things to it and it'll look, uh, it'll look real. That's the intention later. And so, I need to tape it all down. I mean, I could have gone through the trouble, I suppose, of, um, you know, putting a boundary around it and bagging it, but that really would have been a lot of trouble for uh, very little gain. And so some of you out there are going, yeah, uh, yeah, but, um, hmm. That doesn't seem to be holding true to your nature there, Mr. Rice. Well, you know, shut up. I want this stupid airplane to be done. Done! Hold, hold the tape steady, wrap it tight, pull, 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 there we go, set it in place, almost as good as baggy. Just like that, pull, 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 wrap it around on the bottom side, there we go. All right. I'm going to give that about, I don't know, until I come home tomorrow night to cure, and it uh, should be all good. I might give it a couple of days, actually, to be honest with you, because it's cold, it's winter, and I want this to be hard, hard. I do not want it to relax away from this shape. So, see you in a couple of days. Later. So, because it's kind of cold in my shop, I mean, it's not as cold as it is out there in the rest of the world, but, uh, you know, it's 50 and so uh, I use I use this lamp. Um, you know, most of the stuff in my shop is all uh, fluorescent, but this is a 60 or 100 watt incandescent bulb. And so I just have it resting on the fuselage, and it creates a little heat. Um, and even though there's you know balsa is a pretty good insulator, uh, so I'm going to say the balsa wood the outside here is about 
I'm going to say it's about 70 degrees, 75 maybe. Uh, 77.3, hell, I don't know. But uh, it's a lot warmer than 50 without being too warm. So I know that, that, I know that epoxy is going to set really well. Okay, so at this point, a couple of days have passed. And it's all hard. Uh, but I'm going to pull these things off. And uh, it's going to be a while before I can put them in their final position. And so I want to make sure that they don't relax, if you will. And uh, so I want to I want to put some um, not like fuselage formers, but as an exoskeleton on the outside of them uh, that'll allow me to work on the inside of them. And so uh, if you don't have one of these kind of tools, you can get one at the hardware store. They're great. They're contour gauges or contour replicators, if you will. And so you know you push this down. Um, this one's a little harder to push down than some, but push it down to make a, to match the, the contour of the fuselage. I put it on here. It matches the contour of the wood. I then cut a piece of wood that'll go right there. You can see that I marked it number one. Number one marked here. Um, those go together. I gotta make another one for this side. That'll be number two. I'm not going to glue them on until after I take this off, so hang on. Okay, so with those made, I'm going to go ahead and just gonna pull off all the tape here. All right, and so this should just slide right off. Which of course means it won't. <laughs> My compressor is turned off, so it's down to about 10 pounds. Come on, baby. There we go. All right. <clears throat> yeah, that is more flexible than I expected it to be, so that's unfortunate. So I'm going to go ahead and pull off the uh, peel ply. And the peel ply is nice, uh, you know, I've said it before, but for the new guys, uh, peel ply, um, so you should be able to see that real shine that shine, that epoxy shine, that's called an amine blush. And as epoxy cures uh, the, these waxy ingredients that are part of the epoxy, they rise to the top and they give you that, um, that shiny surface. And uh, when you pull the peel ply off, it takes that amine blush with it and you're left with uh, you're left with no shininess at all, and all of those uh, all of those waxy uh, ingredients are gone. So you don't have to sand. 
you don't have to sand this surface. It's uh, it's ready to paint. You can prime it. You can glue things to it. You don't have to. I mean, it, it's ready. It's ready. It's ready for the dance right now. And uh, so that's why I use it. Okay. So this came off. It's got a nice curve to it. Matches the fuselage. It's not as stiff as I would like, but that's okay. Okay. So I got the first little brace thing mounted and I'm going to put the second one on. Um, one of the things I need to make sure I do is, you know, if um, if I move it this way, then uh, these will not, it won't sit flat. It'll be like a, uh, a three-legged stool, you know, or four-legged stool with one, you know, an inch short. So I don't want it sitting like that. So I'm just going to sight down it and um, and I can see that, you know, it's got to go right about there. And that looks basically vertical. Uh, almost put the CA out of reach, of course. sets up completely. I'm going to take another sight line that looks pretty straight. Alright, and that is setting. Uh, I'm going to need some thick CA because the fit is not perfect. I'm just going to run a bit And it's possible that these things, I, I, I don't know, maybe they'll stay on there forever. Uh, not really sure yet, but it's possible. A little CA running down here and down the end. I'm going to wick some of that up like that. And uh, all right, a little kicker. Pull the tape off. Bum bum. Hang on. All right, so there we go. That's the idea. With these, um, with these two feet, you know, when I was gluing them in place, I could sight down them and see that, you know, they were on the same plane. So it sits here without wobbling. That's nice. And they're going to hold this in the perfect curvature. Um, this particular. I've had some issues with this particular resin before taking a little longer than I would like to really cure completely, but um, I mean it's cured, it's just not really rock hard, so uh, I'm sure that will come with time. Uh, anyway, so I wanted to label it top left, and at this point I can take my time and, and get this thing, you know, I can start detailing it out, eventually I'll need to cut it. To the exact shape that it needs to be you know this is the, um, the platform inside uh, this thing eventually you know will will end up getting mounted on here somewhere like that and, you know the throttle quadrant goes on there like that and in and in and in oh yeah can't forget the uh, elevator trim wheel that goes on there you know anyway so but the next step is going to be um, I'll trim it up a little bit. It's very light. So I use some pretty light uh, 16th inch balsa. It's three ounce, three ounce cloth. I'm gonna say that weighs five or six grams. Um, but I need to start detailing it with the, the fuselage formers. And so I'll probably use some C channel or something uh, to do that. So for now, that's it, later. I wanted to show you what the doors look like, or not the doors, but the side panels so you know you saw me install the the things that allow me to work on it and holds it in a curved um, way I curved um, the styrene pieces and got them installed so I mean this is what this was the plan here I didn't have this plan when I started but you know this is the third third set of uh, side panels I've made. Eventually I'll, I'll make something I like 
So here's some with a little bit of a little bit of primer on it. So um, I need to I'll need to do a little micro sanding and add a little bit more primer, smooth it out a little bit. But uh, I think that these are looking really good. And that's it for this chapter. Later.